Today we're going to talk about the number one vitamin deficiency behind most nerve problems. Let's see if you can guess in the comments down below. Let's start with this one right here, nerve pain, okay, like sciatic pain, pain down the back of the leg, or maybe even pain down the arm where it comes to the neck. We also have tremors. If you have tremors, there's usually a deficiency of this one vitamin, anxiety. The feeling of doom or something bad is going to happen. You're constantly solving problems, right? That's coming from a deficiency of a certain vitamin. ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or attention deficit disorder. So you're not going to have very much attention. You're going to be kind of distracted all over the place. It's hard to get something done. It's hard to focus. You have a lot of projects you started, but you can't seem to complete them. OCD, this is a compulsive disorder, which a lot of people have, or even psychosis. The more deficient you are with this one nutrient, the more severe the mental issues are going to be, okay? Then we have the racing mind right before bed, and this is really going to keep you from going into a wonderful sleep. So you usually have insomnia. It takes you a long time to get to bed because you're constantly thinking and you can't turn it off. Then you can have something called lactic acid buildup. Restless leg syndrome. I had this for a long time, many years ago, I had to literally wake up in the middle of the night and pound my legs because I had so much lactic acid building up in my legs. Lactic acid also affects your oxygen, so you're going to have air hunger, so it's going to be hard to breathe and get enough air. And you'll have low tolerance to exercise. Burning feet. Now, this has to do with a, a term called peripheral neuropathy because the nerves, especially in the bottom of your feet, are surrounded with a coating called myelin. So this deficiency of this certain nutrient is going to create a breakdown of the myelin or coating or protective layer around the nervous system. And you're going to start to short circuit that nerve. And one big symptom is burning feet. But it can also be numbness or any type of weird sensation that's called paresthesia in the bottom of the feet. It can happen in your hands as well. It's usually related to diabetes, but it can also come from many other things. And then we have something called the autonomic nervous system. That's the system that works on automatic. There's two types. You have the flight or fight mechanism, which is the sympathetic nervous system. And then you also have the other system, which is called parasympathetic. That's rest and digest. So if you have the problem with the autonomic nervous system, you're going to find that your gastrointestinal system could be slower. You could also have a problem with the valves on the top of the stomach and get acid reflux. There could be a lot of problems with your valves, including the heart valves, and even the heart rate itself can be too high or too low with this deficiency. Vertigo. There's these little hairs on the inside of your ear that can be affected by this deficiency, and you can have you know dizziness and vertigo like you're spinning. And because the retina is an extension of your brain, it's a nerve, you can also have vision problems, especially if you have diabetes. Did you guess what the deficiency is? B1 deficiency. Without getting into the woods of what we're looking at here, this is chemical reactions that happen inside your cells. This thing right here is where you make energy. The sugar that is entering in from your diet comes along through here. And in order for it to get from here into this machine, it's like a motor, it has to go through this enzyme right here. This enzyme step requires vitamin B1. So if you consume carbohydrate, glucose, sugar, that's in a refined form without B1, then your body cannot use that glucose unless it pulls from other places. So when you consume refined carbohydrates, you are depleting a tremendous amount of B1 and so you can get this thing to work and create energy. So if you keep eating this refined sugar, as in junk food, ultra-processed calories, you're going to end up not having enough B1 to use that carbohydrate. And that's where you get the buildup of lactic acid, the lack of fuel, that's going to be fatigue, and the dysfunction of all the other organs and the related symptoms. Now I'm going to get into some other things that actually create a vitamin B1 deficiency. This is the big one alcohol. When you drink alcohol, you're very vulnerable to a B1 deficiency. I mean, even if you drink a little bit of alcohol and you wake up in the morning with a hangover, if you took some B1, you'll feel less of a hangover. Okay, so we have alcohol. We also have 
refined carbohydrates, I already mentioned that, as in sugar and starches. I'm talking about things like modified food starch, maltodextrin, flour, grains, refined grains, things like that. Then we have just being a diabetic. When you have a lot more sugar in your blood, that's going to create more of a vitamin B1 deficiency. This is why a lot of diabetics have nerve problems that relate to the bottom of the feet, the hands, the eyes, and other related uh, problems, especially with the autonomic nervous system. And then, of course, we have stress. The more stress you have on a chronic basis, the more you're going to deplete B1. Because like I said before, B1 deficiency is related to anxiety, a lot of mental thinking, etc. So this is why when you give someone some B1 and they're in this nervous tension state, within minutes, they feel relaxed. They can finally calm down. They can breathe better. The type of B vitamin I would recommend would be a natural source, a nutritional yeast. Either you know put some on your salad or even get them in little tablets. Other things that can create a deficiency, caffeinated tea. If you're just drinking a little bit of tea here and there, it's not going to be an issue. But if you're a chronic tea drinker and you drink a lot of tea, well, you better make sure you take more B1. Also, raw fish can create a B1 deficiency. Sulfites. Where do you get sulfites? Wine. Also, preservatives in dried fruit. It's basically a preservative, but it definitely will deplete your B1. Phytic acid is in a lot of the grains, the whole grains. All these grains that people tell you to consume that are so-called healthy for you, they have phytic acid. They can deplete minerals and certain vitamins like B1. Also, certain antibiotics can create a B1 deficiency as well. So I hope you have a greater understanding and awareness about this B1 deficiency. It's very, very uh, widespread with so many people. And if you haven't seen this video yet that talks more about B1, I put it up right here. Check it out. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below Check it out and get signed up today. Hey before, hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.